As he looked around, he seen different preachers he know, all the preachers that he knew in his lifetime. He said, when each one would stick their hands, you know, they'd pull them back out, the Lord would look at them, they'd lift their hands, they'd be clean. He said, when he got up there to stick his, there he thought he was all right. And when he stuck his hands back in our brother Perry, he pulled them out and there was blood. And the Lord told him to be part of this. I thought the other night the Lord spoke to me that I'd be reporting these things right. and he's talked to me. Right. He's told me that many times. Yeah. And you'll be reporting of what God has put in your life as well. Right. I believe, you know, I, I don't know exactly how judgment will be, but, but I thought no doubt there'd be prophets. I can imagine the prophets standing there too. Yeah. Sticking their hands in that water to see if they're clean. I don't want nobody's blood on my hands. Right, right, right. We stand in judgment, man. I don't want to look over and say that I did not help you, that I didn't do nothing to cause you to get out of far. The many times I the Lord move on me and I wasn't willing, but pray I want to be with you. Whatever God wants me to do, I want to do. I want to make it more than anything, man. God, there's nothing in this world worth losing your soul. Right. Hell is real. Right. It's enlarging its borders every day. Right. Judgment's getting closer. The Lord has warned us for decades. I've been in this for 20 years. Been in basically all my life, raised up in it. And I've never seen the churches in the shape they're in. I, I know you elders ain't either. But we was forewarned of these times to come. It looks like we're the generation that's living in the dark days. The night time, the Bible said work twice a day, when night comes no man work. We still got to do the work that God gives us. Brother Mike, if we don't, we'll be like Brother Wayne's dream when we stand before the Lord. Our sins will find us out. God bless you. Yeah, my brother will. I was excited about being here tonight. Amen. I've been trying to ask the Lord. Preached here a few weeks back about restoring the joy. I've been begging the Lord to restore my joy. Look like I've been going through more and more and more. But look like that's what it takes to pound levels down and get us will to do God's will. Right. So praise God. Move on. Amen. 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 I'm going to preach to you now. This is what I've been holding for the prayer. Uh, you prophesied a long time ago with Jesse Mitchell before I go to me. Told me the Lord told me, hey, give me these thoughts to deliver them. If I hold back, they grow stale. And I've always tried when I feel led to preach it, I'll bring what the Lord gives me, whether it's easy, hard, no matter what. I'm for I want to make it. I want to make it. Yeah. God is real. Amen. His Spirit is real. But if you walk in a carnal mind every day, you'll never know. Amen. You'll come out. Hey, no life within you. You won't be a lively stone, but you'll be a dead stone. Amen. But I won't lie. That Spirit, that when I am laid to rest like that mother of the Lord yesterday, that I'll have hope. That that same spirit will bring me up out of that ground. 
Uh, when that great trumpet sound. Right. 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 It's closer than we think. I know we hear right. that a lot, we preach a lot, but it is. It's getting closer every day. This might be your last church service today. Amen. Right. Think about it. You might go down the road and hit a tree. You might fall over and have a heart attack. Go like that. Amen. No time to cry out, Lord, let me go back and make things right. Lord, let me go back and sing that song you moved on me to sing. Or pray for that person you told me to lay hands on I wasn't with him. There'll be no excuse. Right. We got a lot of young people, Patsy, that need to see the power of God. But it takes a lot of fasting and praying Amen. to get a hold of the deep power of God in your life. You can study this word, there's men that can quote you word for word, but they don't have no spirit. That's right. They're sounding brass and they're taking simple. Yeah. They have enticing words that the world, they love that. They can say fire speech at prayer, but there ain't no realness to it. But what God anoints is real. It has seasons. It'll give you life Amen. if you'll accept it. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel the Holy Ghost. I'm going to miss this tomorrow morning. Speaking in tongues, singing in tongues. That's gone, that air is gone. But she left us an example. An example of how we ought to be. Amen. Amen. Lively stones, even at old age. Yes. My dad sat back here tonight, just had surgery, but he pushed out to come to the house of God anyhow. Come on. Thank God, him almost 90 year old. Where is our people? Come on. Right. Thank God. Come on, Jesus. Yes, we got a lot of young people here that need to know. I'm about to preach. They need to understand this. And I'm going to bring it to you and you listen real carefully. It's, it's a wonderful message. When I started out, I'd hear the elders pray. And mother would get me to go to our prayer and I didn't even know how to really pray. And I'd want to say, Mom, you know, I don't know how to pray like that. You know, go a whole hour. I don't even know how to pray 15 minutes. Hurry, I'd go anyway. And I'd pray, burn my head to see Patsy and I'd listen to different ones. Sister Leah brought she almost sing praying. It'd be amazing. And I'd lay and I think, how in the world do they do that? How do they know what to say? You know, they just pray about just many different things, be some more. But you gotta start out like a newborn baby. And you gotta grow in this. Then I begin to hear the preachers preach. Pray about knowing the Lord's voice. And that's what we're going to preach tonight. You need to know the Lord's voice. That's right. Amen. He said, My sheep know my voice. Amen. And a stranger they will not follow. Amen. If somebody came in here that you comfort in highly, if Jesse got up here and started preaching something strange, you better not take it. That's right. Amen. Even though he's my brother, I love him. And you all right. love him as your pastor. He's our pastor. If he preached any other thing than this right here, it'd be a curse. It'd be a curse. Right. 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 Can it be a curse? There's a real voice. There's a way that you can pray and get a hold of God. When you get down your knees, you don't have to ask somebody, should I do this or should I do that? But there's a way that you can get a hold of God. Amen. I thought now before I come to church, wife wanted an answer. She kept asking me, and I didn't tell her that. I didn't know. I went and prayed. That's all I know to do. Right. And the Lord began to teach me some things, and I went back to her. And I tried to tell her, "Honey, you got to pray. You got to pray. The Lord will teach you. He'll give you your answer if you seek Him." Right. But the Lord has a real voice. Yes, He does. Great. And as you walk along, if you'll keep on praying and fasting, you young people, if you'll give your whole life to God, all right, everything, you'll begin to learn that voice. And when you come out at church, when you're sitting there, and He tells you to do something, you'll know. But you've got to learn. Amen. Let me read. Now, I'll get out of the way. Amen. Amen. 
St. Luke chapter 24, 13th verse. It said, and Behold, two of them went the same day to the nearest cow of Emus, which was from Jerusalem about three score farms. They talked together of all the things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together in reason, Jesus Himself drew near. He's near tonight. He's in this service if you want Him. Thank you. Help you, Lord. Jesus Himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were behold or, or were holding what they couldn't see that they should not know Him. They didn't know it was Jesus. Jack, they, they didn't know him. And He said unto them, What manner of communications are these that you have one to another as you walk and are sad? And the one of them whose name was Phelps answering said unto him, Are there only a stranger in Jerusalem and is not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which is a promise mighty indeed in the word before God and of all the people, and how the chief priests and all our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But he trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. Beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and a certain woman also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found out his body, they came, saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre, and found it even so as the women had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter in his glory? Beginning at Moses. And all the prophets, he expounded them all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh to the village whether they went. And he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass as he sat at meat with them, and he took bread and blessed it, and brake and gave to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him. And he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while He talked with us by the way and while He opened the Scriptures? Did not our heart burn within us? God is a consuming fire. Amen. And Holy Ghost fire. Amen. Had to get down to my old bones. Everybody, Lord, everybody. How many times have we sat in our seat and God dealing with us? And our heart began to burn. Right. Lord, is that the Lord moving? Lord, is that you? All right. Come on. Not know if I should move or sit still, but their hearts are burning. Right. Always. But as they spoke with them, they didn't know yeah. until their eyes were open. The truth. And then when they saw that it was the Lord. Every Fair Until you get a little faith in your life and step out. Yeah. When that begins to burn down in your heart, the Lord moving on you. That little bit of faith to step out on. The Lord moving on you to sing that song. That little bit of faith. That small, still voice that speaks to your heart. Tell you to go pray for somebody. How many times have we sat there with our heart burning within us yeah. and we're not listening? Right. How many times do we feel like raising our hands? Praise the Lord and the devil whispering in the air and they look at you. 
Can you lower your hands back down in shame? God bless him, Lord. Yeah, he said, if you're ashamed of me, ashamed I'll be ashamed of you. Amen. Oh, yeah, right, right. I don't want to have to stick my hands back in that screen. Pull me out with blood on my hands. The true one, come on. But there's a voice that you can get a hold of in your heart that will teach you and guide you. Thank God the good shepherd. Right. The Lamb of God that shed his blood for you to save your soul. Thank God. When your heart burns with me. When I was a sinner man sitting in the back seat, not I got saved, bro. You know what happened to my heart? I don't know your experience, but my heart burned within me, a sinner man. Right, bro. My heart was a burning. I could feel the Lord pulling and trying to deal with me and knocking us. Wanting to come in. Right. And the devil on the other side pulling me back saying, no, you have to give up the world on, and the things in the world. Amen. Well, the Lord say, come. Hey, thank God. Come on, come on church, thank God. Oh, Can you remember when the Lord saved you? Right. How your heart burned within you? Do you remember the the fire of God crying out. Thank God. God. He was speaking in other tongues. Thank God. Amen. The fire of God. He'll burn your heart. Thank God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But you ain't never experienced that. I got, I got a bad feeling for your case. Amen. When yes. you stand before the Lord. Yes. God is a consuming fire. Right. When He deals with you, that are burning your soul. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yeah. Thank God, my sheep hurry. He said, No, my voice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When the Lord tells you when you wake up out of the man in the morning, you hear that small, still voice say, Pray. Yeah. You don't pray, the day goes all to pieces. Nothing works right. Yeah. There'll be even time for the prayer you'll pray. And it still won't go good, but you still got to keep praying. Yeah. Amen. Right. Right. You young people that are just starting out in this, if you'll pray for the Lord to teach you His voice, His leading spirit. Amen. That's the way I pray. Lord, let me know. I don't want to be deceived. Right. I'd see people move and I'd be kind of worried about them. You know, it just wasn't no edification to it. Right. But pretty scary. me. That sound just wasn't right. Right. And I pray, Lord, please, don't when I move, let it edify. Yeah, amen. When you move, let me know for sure. Don't ever let me move on my own. Right. But let me know for sure that I'll never make no mistake. Amen. A lot of mistakes made. Come on. Amen. Right. Come on. These people amen. moved on a little feeling and spoke words and destroyed somebody with me. Right. Amen. 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 Because they listened to the wrong voice. Amen. But you better fast and pray and seek God to know His voice. Amen. That when He moves on you, that you'll be willing. Because you'll be required of it. Right. I said you will be required of what God has given you. Amen. Amen. You ain't no better than this preaching. Right. You ain't no better than the pastor. Amen. Amen. It's more than just a preacher's brother prayer. There's a lot of works that need to go on in the house of God. Amen. I need help. And if you've got that gift home now, shame on you. If you're a prophet of God and ain't prophesied, ain't been with it, shame on you. Help him more. Help him more. Thank God. Help him. Bible teaches us works without faith is dead. Amen. Amen. You've got to work. You've got to work. There you go. God called you for a purpose and a reason. And He sets you in this body as it pleases you. And when you seek Him, He'll teach you what He'd have you to do. And when to do it. If you're a singer, you need to be saved. Come on, brother. Tell the I want the Holy Ghost. I want it more than anything else. Right. That's how you get it. More than anything else, brother. Right, brother. 
He's got to be first. Right. You want a brand new car, you'll go downtown or somewhere and you'll do anything you can to get that car. If you can't get there, you'll run somewhere else and run your credit and try it somewhere else. You'll find some way, somehow, to get that vehicle you want. But when it comes to the Lord, the Lord, the works of God, the Lord's already taught a lot of us here what He wants us to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We ain't willing. Yeah. We ain't We'll stand in judgment, Jesus. Right, brother. But you need to learn the Lord's voice when He speaks to you. Amen. That you'll know when that begins to burn within you. There won't be no doubt when you seek Him. When you seek Him early, He can teach you through the day what to do. Amen. He'll teach you decisions in your life what to do. He'll keep you out of trouble, Lord. Every minute of time, I got myself in trouble because I did not pray and listen to that voice. When I plainly know Him saying, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't override it. Get myself in trouble. Right. And I have to stay in trouble until I paid that price. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Lord. People's always talk about how it used to be. Those elders is gone. It's your turn. Right. You just been this while need to move up. Right. When the Lord moves on you, that feeling in your heart burning, that's the Lord. Obey the Lord. He'll be with you. He wouldn't move on you and tell you to do something and forsake you. That's right, brother. He'll never forsake you. Right. Yeah. When He gives you that to do, He'll be right there with you the whole time. Right. Amen. Oh. But you got to get with Him. You better get with Him. You better get with Him to do what God has laid at your charge to do. Right. Amen. Seek Him. Yeah, man. You'll have to do like I done. Lord, teach me your voice. Yes. Amen. And when you move, then I'll know. Beyond a shadow of that, Charlie. You think the devil wants you to pray for somebody? You know what the devil will tell you? When that comes to you, go, go pray for so and so. The devil will tell you that you'll make a fool of yourself. You go over and touch that sister, they'll be thinking thoughts on you. Right. Come on, touch that brother, they'll think bad thoughts on you. On. They thought bad about the woman that washed Jesus' feet with her hair, didn't they? Yeah. Hey, Amen. When the Lord moves on you, you better be with Him. Right. You'll be held accountable. Amen. The Bible teaches us we got a common salvation. Yeah. That means we should have all things common. And that don't mean, you know, Scott, you work in the mines. You know how it is. They got a section of men that works and runs cold. And if you got the car drivers laying on the ribs somewhere and not running the cars, you ain't going to run no cold. And if the car drivers start running the cars, the miner men ain't running the miner, they still ain't going to run no cold. And if the bell man went to sleep down the bellway there, the bells kick off. You still ain't gonna run cold. Everybody's got a job to do, and if you don't do your job, then you can't do like you want to. You get home. That's just the nature, the way things work, amen. But you young people, why are you young and able? Listen. You better seek God with all your heart and store all the grace that you can. You better. He wouldn't have all you prophesy if you wasn't able. Right. Right. He wouldn't give you the gift to sing and play music if you wasn't able. Amen. Right. Right. But he made you be slain. Only oh, trusted you in. Amen. He trusted you in. And you'll be required with it. Say, man. Thank you, Lord. There's almost a mist in here. Once we get in the spirit, we have church. Thank God, thank God. Well, glory, thank God, thank God. I've had people get mad at me because I try to encourage them. Because I try to tell them, hey, 
Come on, you can do better. Right. Right. Thank God. Right. I've had them get mad at me. Right. Hey, Amen. Come and try to pat them on the back. And tell them, Come on. Be the help of the church. Right. Thank God. Right. But I'll tell you, you'll be glad if you listen. Hey, Amen. There'll come a day when you stand before the Lord. Yeah. You've got to give account for that gift, that call in your life. Right. Right. Say, Lord, I didn't know. Morning, you say, I dealt with you. You heard my voice. You heard me time and time again. When I called it, I told you. Hey, God, the moving you wasn't willing. Come on. Hey, God, it's easy to sit back on your seat and not be willing. Hey, God. Well, hey, well, boy. Hey, man. Hey, God, you've got a hard job to do. It's easy to sit down and watch somebody else do it. Thank God, but I was always one when I seen somebody having a hard time. I want to help them out. Amen. Hey, man, thank God. If I got through bones, got you out of the I want to do like the rest of them lay around. I go help everybody on the other side. Hey, man, because I might need his help someday. Thank God. You need to sing the voice of God. Right, amen. And when he moves on you, obey him. Amen. Setting back too long. Well, glory, glory. Come on. Well, glory, glory. Been setting back too long. Thank God. Thank God. It's time you moved up. Amen. You know, it's like a daddy with a bunch of children. Thank God it's spoiled. They don't want to do what they're told. Thank God. I tell them a lot of times that's why they won't come to ages. Because the pastor preaches on them. Right. And they don't want to hear it, Pastor. They want to enjoy it. Good fruit of the land. They only want to get up here and enjoy the set. But when it comes to the striving and the hard times of the church, they ain't willing to sacrifice and stand by the church. Right. Right. Oh. They still think come along. That other voice tell you what you just need to leave. Go down the road. Right. It's easier. They just, I've seen a many of them. Yeah. We got a lot of people left here. They've gone other places. You know what they're doing? They're sitting there to them. You know what they'll do before it's over with? They'll leave there and go somewhere else. They're like wandering spirits. Because they ain't with them. The Lord's told them time and time again. They ain't with them to listen to the Lord. Amen. Right, brother. There's going to be an end to this. Some of your journeys is almost over. And I don't know if you'll have to stick your hands in that fountain, that Brother Wayne dream. But I thought in that dream as he pulled his hands out, there's blood on his hand. The Lord told him he would for me. In other words, when he stood before him in judgment, if Brother Wayne didn't preach the truth, what he gave him, he'd be reported. That's right. right I believe he preached the truth. But I'm not the judge. Hey Amen. I can't judge you tonight. But I tell you, thank God here at Ages, we got a lot of people that's not willing. Well, well. God bless him all. Ain't willing. Ain't willing to suffer. If the sufferings of this world ain't compared to things that come, if we can just make it. If we can hold out and endure to this, it'll be worth the journey. It'll be worth your journey to hear it say in or in. But if you stay unwilling to do what God has told you in your heart, when that burn within your heart, right. That small, still voice that tells you, sing. And you sit back in when I sing. That's right. Listen them to the other. If they begin to move on, you pass it. You go to somebody. You be afraid we're drawn. But be afraid, Lord, they might get mad at me. I ain't saying she will. I believe she'd bring it right to you. Amen. But I know these people that have held that before they confess to it. I've had them come to me and tell me they should have come to me. Right. Amen. Here they are. They're right. They should have came. Right. Yeah. It's a simple message. Yeah. 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 You know, a lot of people don't even know when the Lord's really moving. 
I'd be right here. They didn't know that was the Lord. I've seen things move in the house of God. Brother Perry, he ain't not a big woman of God, and a drunkard down the street. As a matter of fact, I know a man who was a drunkard and he held a revival on the street corner. Because he ran out him and his buddy went pulpered up in Chicago, big Chicago, well noise. And he told his buddy, he said, I don't know how we're going to get back home to Harlem. He told his buddy, he said, I got an idea. He said, just follow me. <laughs> he went down to the street corner and started preaching. And people started throwing their money in their hat. And they plenty of money to make it back to Harlem and get drunk too. People are so easily deceived. Right. But if you'll pray, you'll never be deceived. Right. If you'll beg the Lord, Lord, teach me your voice. Because you said your sheep know your voice and a stranger. In other words, that strange spirit moves, you'll, you'll know. Right. There's even times it's so close you, you won't really know. But there's something ain't right. There you go. Brother Short used to teach us if you don't know what to do, don't do nothing. Right. Amen. If you don't know what it is, leave it alone. Don't right. even get in it. Don't try it. Get your mind on the Lord. Right. Right. But tonight, the Lord moves on you to do anything that smiles to your voice. That's the Lord speaking to you. If you want the Holy Ghost, you'll have to be able to listen to that smile still. Yeah, okay. When your heart begins to burn within you, Tasha, when your heart begins to burn within you, I believe it's been burned. Amen. Yeah, yeah, amen. <laughs> I believe the Lord been saying, Come. Come on to me. Come on. I believe you've been talking to him. To her sister back there. Trying to compel her to come back to him. He'll take your big old. Awesome. And he'll speak to that heart when it burns. Thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, man, me and you that. No doubt. She laid on her pillow. The heart burns. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I'm going to oh say it. I can't help myself. Yeah. Well, glory. Thank God. Thank God. Well, glory. That's what it's all about. Amen. Save the soul.
Thank you. 